Słuchaj opowiadań po angielsku, ucz się angielskiego słuchając. Native Speaker czyta część 31. Za pierwszym razem każde zdanie usłyszysz dwa razy, bez napisów. Wymaga to skupienia się na znaczeniu, a nie na czytaniu tłumaczenia. Następnie usłyszysz go po raz trzeci z tłumaczeniem, dzięki czemu będziesz mógł, mogła sprawdzić, jak dobrze go zrozumiałeś, zrozumiałaś. Powodzenia! One day Mark's donkey was ill, so he borrowed a horse from an officer. One day Mark's donkey was ill, so he borrowed a horse from an officer. One day Mark's donkey was ill, so he borrowed a horse from an officer. Pewnego dnia osią Marka zachorował, więc pożyczył konia od oficera. It was a big, strong animal, and usually nobody rode it except the officer. It was a big, strong animal, and usually nobody rode it except the officer. It was a big, strong animal, and usually nobody rode it except the officer. Było to duże, silne zwierzę i zwykle nikt na nim nie jeździł z wyjątkiem oficera. It tried to throw Mark off, but he stayed on it. It tried to throw Mark off, but he stayed on it. It tried to throw Mark off, but he stayed on it. Koń próbował zrzucić Marka ze swojego grzbietu, ale on pozostał na nim. Then it suddenly began to run away with him. Then it suddenly began to run away with him. Then it suddenly began to run away with him. Potem nagle zaczął z nim galopować. He tried to turn it towards his house and he tried to stop it but it continued to run the opposite way. He tried to turn it towards his house and he tried to stop it, but it continued to run the opposite way. He tried to turn it towards his house and he tried to stop it, but it continued to run the opposite way. Marek próbował skierować go w stronę swojego domu i próbował zatrzymać, lecz on nadal biegł w przeciwnym kierunku. One of Mark's friends was working in his field and saw him riding very fast towards this friend's house. One of Mark's friends was working in his field and saw him riding very fast towards this friend's house. One of Mark's friends was working in his field and saw him riding very fast towards this friend's house. Jeden z przyjaciół Marka pracował na swoim polu i widział, jak bardzo szybko jechał w stronę domu tego przyjaciela. 
he thought, why is Mark riding so fast? He thought, why is Mark riding so fast? He thought, why is Mark riding so fast? Pomyślał, dlaczego Marek jedzie tak szybko? Perhaps he has some bad news. Maybe he is riding to my house to give me some bad news. Perhaps he has some bad news. Maybe he is riding to my house to give me some bad news. Perhaps he has some bad news. Maybe he is riding to my house to give me some bad news. Być może ma jakieś złe wieści. Może jedzie do mnie do domu, żeby przekazać mi złe wiadomości. He was frightened and shouted to Mark. Mark, what is the matter? He was frightened and shouted to Mark. Mark, what is the matter? He was frightened and shouted to Mark. Mark, what is the matter? Przestraszył się i zawołał do Marka. Marku, w czym problem? Where are you going? I don't know, Mark shouted back. This stupid animal hasn't told me. Where are you going? I don't know, Mark shouted back. This stupid animal hasn't told me. Where are you going? I don't know, Mark shouted back. This stupid animal hasn't told me. Dokąd jedziesz? Nie wiem, Marek odkrzyknął. To głupie zwierzę mi nie powiedziało. Sprawdź się, odpowiedz na pytania. Odpowiedzi napisz w komentarzu. What was the matter with Mark's donkey one day? What did he do? What was the horse like? Who usually rode it? What did it try to do? What did Mark do? What did the horse do then? What did Mark do? What did the horse do? Who saw Mark? What was this person doing? What did he think? How did he feel? What did he shout? What did Mark shout back? That's all for today. See you later, alligator. To wszystko na dzisiaj. Do zobaczenia. Pa. Pa.